Good morning, NC Kids. I'm so glad that you're able to join us here this morning. If you didn't know, my name is Nathan, and today I'm going to teach you about Jesus' teaching to Nicodemus. But before we do so, let's bow our heads and pray. Father God, I just want to thank you for this amazing day that you have given us. Thank you, Father Lord, for this opportunity to learn more about you. I pray, Father God, that you just open our hearts and our minds to you this morning, God, and may we just learn about this lesson, God. And may we take this lesson uh, onwards in our lives. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, are you guys ready for the story? I know I am. So, let's go. Shh, it's me, Nicodemus, a member of the Jewish High Council. I've come to visit Jesus. I have heard of his incredible miracles and his amazing teachings and I wanted to learn more about him. But the Pharisees don't like him very much. So I've come in the middle of the night to see him. Jesus, it's me, Nicodemus. Can I come in? Yes, come in. Thanks. Teacher, we know that you must have been sent by the Lord, for you couldn't have performed such miracles without the Lord being with you. I tell you the truth. No man can seek the kingdom of God without being born again. How can a man be old and be born again? How can a man like me become a baby and be born again? I tell you the truth. No man can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and spirit. For flesh gives birth to flesh, but spirit gives birth to spirit. You should not be surprised by the things that I am saying to you. You need to be born again. The wind blows wherever it pleases. You can hear it, but you cannot tell where it comes from or where it is going. So too is it with the Spirit. How could this be? You are a teacher of Israel, yet you do not understand these things. I tell you the truth, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. Yet you do not accept my testimony. I have spoken on earthly things and you do not believe. Then how will you believe? If I speak of heavenly things, no one has ever gone into heaven except the one who is from heaven. Just as Moses lifted the snake from the desert, so will the Son of Man be lifted up, so that everyone who believes in him may have eternal life. So after this conversation that Jesus had with Nicodemus, the Pharisees got angrier and angrier at him because he kept on proclaiming to be the Son of God. This eventually led to his crucifixion and he died on that day. However, he rose again three days later and reigned victorious ever since. We can seek our salvation and our eternal life through that event. By Jesus dying on that cross, he took all of our sins with him and we can now have a relationship with God. It is written in John 3 verse 16 to 18 that for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have an eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned, but whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of God's one and only son. So boys and girls, I hope that you have learned a lot in this lesson. And I hope that you take this with you in the rest of your life. And you just keep on believing that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Before we end this, I'll quickly just want to pray. So everyone just bow their heads and we can start praying. Father God, I just want to thank you again for this incredible opportunity to learn more about you. Thank you, Father God, for your word. And thank you, Father, for Jesus, who was the ultimate gift. For through that gift, God, we received salvation and an eternal life. Father, please be with these children this week and please keep them safe, God. And I pray, Lord, that we see them soon. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, boys and girls, see you soon.